coming to introduction of OSMF. WHO defines precancerous condition as a generalized pathological state of oral mucosa with a significantly increased risk of cancer. The examples are OSMF, lichen planus, DLE, and epidermolysis bullosa. Oral submucous fibrosis is seen in buccal mucosa, palate, retromolar region, and pharyngeal region. There is fibroelastic change of lamina propria, there is increased fibrosis, the changes are seen below basal lamina, and there is increased collagen formation. Also, there is gradual loss of mobility, which leads to restricted mouth opening. So, oral submucous fibrosis is a chronic progressive condition which is characterized by diffuse mucosal rigidity, which is caused by dense fibrosis within lamina propria. This rigidity is sometimes seen in underlying skeletal muscle. The fibrous bands form below oral mucosa. These bands progressively contract so that the mouth opening becomes severely limited. Also, the speech becomes hypernasal due to changes in soft palate. The swallowing is disturbed and tongue movement is limited. OSMF causes metrical fibrosis of cheeks, soft palate, and inner aspect of lips. The fibrosis causes changes in color so that oral mucosa is whitish in color and there is firmness of the oral mucosa so that it can't be indented with the finger. Frequently, the buccal fibrosis causes severe restriction of opening which leads to difficulty in treating dental conditions and there is increased restriction of mouth opening. Thank you.